hello guys welcome back in this tutorial i am going to tell you how can you develop a discussion forum system using php and mysql guys you have seen the lot of forums like you can they make a discussion in websites actually you can see their website they have a discussion section like discussing the product discussing the many topics so here we are going to develop like that so guys first we have an overview of our system like here you can see this is the main section of our system actually here this is the front page like forum here we have a listing of categories like category topic post like here, here visiting the like here like general discussion there is a topics here like the user can create a new topic here going to the topic listing the posts it is the for delete the post make reply to the listing so all these things we will handle in this section also uh, we will uh, display you how we can implement on a user level like user group level like administrator user like general users like guest users so all these things we will handle also uh, we will uh, have a like uh, any forum uh, have a owner so here we also uh, display how we can access the system by owners and handle things like uh, we have also login here like i forum administrator login in which the owner will log into the system and manage the things like categories and users all the things will be managed by the owner means top we can see a super administrator so he all the things we will handle in the system guys so first we will check the database here actually before going to code so we will check the database here so the database is here the, the, the database is here forums actually we have created database forum in which we have a tables we have a uh, total these tables like you can see here the the main table is here so here is forum user table actually in which we are storing the users details login detail like user id primary auto increment username email password and user group the group of the user and we have a forum underscore user group table in which we have a details of user group like this is user group id primary auto increment title of the user group the permission view forum like here actually here we are using the only one permission view view forum permission here and also the second one is create topic so do, we have two permissions here view forum and create topic permission in our user group and so here we are storing the user group like administrator member guest also we have a forum underscore topic table in which we are storing the topic details like here topic id primary auto increments subject of topic category id means in which category the topic created the user id the topic creator and the date of the created topic created and also we have a forum underscore post table in which we are storing the details of the post post from a topic so here we have a post id I have primary auto increment post message topic id in which topic post created user id the creator post creator the name of the user and the create date we have also table forum underscore category so first we will see the forum category actually in which we are storing the category details like category id primary auto animate name of the category and description the category means this is this is the category like we here we have a category support web designer programming general all these are categories and then we have a forum underscore honor table in which we are storing the uh, forum honor detail like super administrators that will handle the all function I mean, is manage the all forums all things so here uh, the id of the owner auto increment username email password and creator so all these are the tables that we will use in our uh, discussion system that we are going to develop and share with you so guys now we will move to the coding level here so here actually the first page is category or listings in which we are listing the uh, categories so here we will see the category.php so this is the category.php file 
in which we are including the config database dot which actually we have we have classes here in classes directory so here and also we have a config directory in which we have database.php in which we have make a connection to the database so here you can see here we have class database in which we have a method get connection in which we are making connection to the mysql database so here we have host user password database so here we are making the connection so here uh, we are including this uh, database.php we are including here for making the connection so then we have a uh, classes like user class here we have a user class in which we have implement all the methods related to user and we have a category class category dot php in which we have i have implemented all the methods related to the category to manage the category so here actually we are listing the category so also we are here listing the topics post so we are including all the like user.php, category.php, and topic.php. Then we are making the obje uh, object of the database and calling the get connection and getting the DB means connection. And then here we are creating the object of the user class, creating the object of the category class, and creating the object of the topic class. So, or actually, we will uh, you, uh, call the method of these classes here in our category.php. Also, guys we are handling the design the design of the page using the bootstrap framework so here we are including the bootstrap files here and also we have a style and dot file now here you can see we have checking the category id actually getting a uh, checking the category if category id is empty So uh, we are checking the category ID. If, if category ID empty, then we are listing here the category list. Listing the category list here, like you can see here. This is the upper category list. So here we are calling the method get category list and loop through uh, that using the while loop. And list getting the category ID, total topic, total post actually, and then we are listing here the categories. Actually, here these are the category, and then topics and total posts. We are listing these are here. So this is the page of our category dot php. So here we are listing it. also on same page. If category ID is not empty, means we are displaying the topic. So here we have a like. When we visit the category, like uh, if we visit this category, then we have a category ID. In this case, we are getting the category details, meaning getting the uh, topics of the category. So here we have a category ID and then getting the method get topic list from topics.php class. Here we have a topic.php class in which we are getting the topic list. Here we have a get topic list and here we are getting the topic details of category and returning the result then we are looping through and display the topic listing here then if we visit the topic like here this topic then we have a topic id then we are checking the topic id we will check for the topic id so actually that will be displayed on the post.php so here this is the topic listing category listing phase so here we can go back here so actually we have a category listing and then when visit the category we are displaying the category topics on the category.php file so this is the functionality of our category now when we visit the topic like we visit then where we go we go to the post.php in which uh, here we are listing the topics details means post listing post listing of a topic so here now we will see the file of post.php so here we will open the post.php here we have uh, again here we are including the database.php including the user category topic post and then making the object of the to call the methods then you can see here here we are listing the post details so here you can see 
we are checking the topic id if topic id not empty then we are getting the topic topic details using the get topic method so here we will see the topic here you can see the get topic this is the method get topic that we are calling here checking the topic id if your topic id then we are getting the details here and return here like we have a topic detail here and we are uh, here we have topic detail then we have a category id like subject all these then like you can see here, here this is the details of the topic then we have a post then so we we are calling the get post from topic so here we have a get post this is the method we have implemented in the topic.php get post in which we are getting the details of all post of a category of a topic so here you can see we have a category data uh, top uh, post data here we have a result of post then we are a while loop on that post result and displaying the records here you can see here we are displaying the post details here like you can see here poster name dates message here this is a message so all the listings are here so you can see here all the listings are here so this is the our post listing here. now if we are logged in we are also checking here if logged in then we are displaying the login uh, reply form post reply form otherwise we are displaying a login to reply message like here you can see here this is a login to reply when we click on that it, it will take to the login page uh, suppose we have a user like we have a billion user a login through then the reply input box will be displayed to reply to the post here yeah. also that user will be able to edit the post delete the post so all these functionality he can handle so now this is the functionality of our post reply section so guys you can see also you can see here like header section all these sections are handled here like in menu.php in which we have displaying the menu like control panel logged in user details dashboard categories all these are we, we are displaying here also we have a logout file logout.php in which we handle the logout and we have also compose.php actually this is the functionality of our post listing also suppose we, we will back here like on category page and when we go to the category then we have a create new topic like when we click then create new topic. in this case compo.php file is called here you can see here the compo.php file is called in which we are we have a topic name input and text area in which we are making the actually here is a advanced editor tiny mcf data we are using for uh, composing the message so this is the functionality is uh, handled on the compo.php here again we are including the database.php user category topic post all these classes is called included here and objects are created also we are checking here if logged in not logged in then we are rewriting to the login page then we are displaying here the form we have a form compose form compose topic form here this is the compose topic form and we have a input you can see that for the subject topic name here we can create the topic so this is the functionality for our compose topic here so guys this is the functionality i, I have discussed with you for listing the categories composing the topic listing the posts like uh, going to the post reply to the post edit post all these functionalities are here we have handled guys now we will move to the super admin section actually you can see here when we are accessing there is a control panel like here here control panel actually guys you have seen there is a category literature so like we can create the uh, topic here the user create the topic and reply to the post but who will create the categories the category will be created by the forum owner you can say a super, super administrator user so here we have a control panel 
so we will log in using the control bar here is a for one disco or in which we have a control panel login details like owner details so here we have a user password is one to three this is the control panel that will be used by super administrator we can say our owner here the dashboard welcome to the control panel here we have a user listing actually here the administrator can manage the user like add new user can you edit the user details can delete the user also the administrator can manage the categories here add new new category like here can edit the category here and can delete that category so administrator can handle all these things like can manage the new users can manage the categories as from here the administrator can access the forum here so this is the functionality of our discussion forum system guys it's a very interesting project you can say it's a very interesting project also uh, guys uh, we have a, a sub a brief description of our project here actually these are the class also we have some css files like styled or css file. also we are using the data so these this is the css data css files also we are using some images for avatar also we have a, a common file like container footer header and we have a js file for data tables general js from access and the menu also we have a user.js file for handling the users functionality actually here we are managing the user so all these listing are handled through the jquery data tables so here we are handling the functionality of users using the jquery with ajax also we have a topic.js in which we are handling the functionality of topics uh, also we have you can see the functionality like category manager so here we are managing the category like here this uh, here managing the category also we have action.php in which we are handling the actions like here we have included the database.php included the user category topic pool.php creating the object and calling the method of that like uh, saving the message update the message creating a topic here calling the inside method like update the post message here you can see the we are uh, calling the post insert post update so here you can see the post insert the methods are here post insert is here in post class here update class same way same way we have a create topic so here we have a topic class in which we have a insert method you can see here our insert method in which we are inserting the new topic means composing topic also if we see the action.php we have user listing list user class uh, method we are calling get user details also adding new user updating user deleting user category listing here actually listing category here called when uh, we have a category list uh, listing action then we are calling the list category category details and insert the new category update category also deleting so all these methods are calling from the category dot php class you can see here the category get category list get category get category topics get category post counts get list category get category details insert update all the messages are implemented here in our project so guys uh, i will uh, give you a source code link in our video description to download the complete project to view the all files uh, and the database to understand and to use in your project and you can also enhance this guys i actually it's a very interesting project when you run on your server you uh, you will see it's a very interesting you can easily enhance this so guys i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial so don't forget to like and share so subscribe our channel thank you